Hey everybody, welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we're going to do a manifesting love reading for our singles, and this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so if you're single and you have Virgo in your chart, this reading is for you. All right, and don't forget this is a general reading and an intuitive reading, so not every message will resonate for every single person. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind, okay? This is also a timeless reading, so whenever you happen to find this video is when you're meant to see it, okay? All right, so what do Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus singles need to know for manifesting love, please? What do we need to know for Virgo, please? Acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. All right. So we're going to read this from the book. So I want you guys to be successful and have all the information that you need to gain insight into your situation. So here we go. Throughout your sojourn on earth, you will be presented with many obstacles and lessons that will test you. One of the most beautiful parts of life is its unpredictability. Nothing is permanent. Everything is constantly moving and evolving, especially you. In your life, you can progress faster spiritually by being open to the ebb and flow of events and the twists and turns that your soul companions, the fellow humans on your journey, provide. Now is the time to become aware of this gift and acknowledge that these moments are not stumbling blocks, but merely opportunities to grow. Although circumstances may seem difficult and worrisome, if you look at the bigger picture and live for the present moment, you can easily follow the natural course of life. But don't let the mindset of acceptance distract you from your ability to change the situations that hinder your soul's growth. You are always in charge. All right, that's what we're activating for you today. And let's just see where we go here with the um, Sacred Traveler Oracle. Let's see what kind of journey you're currently on. Messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Singles, please. For Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, I should say. Messages for our Virgo. What do we need to know for manifesting love? View from above. Get the big picture. Okay, get the big picture. Get all your facts. Um, change your perspective, get a different perspective. Journey by moonlight, believe in magic. Very nice. Very nice. And finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. All right. That's beautiful messages for you there. Right? Change your perspective, right? Believe that the magic is all around you. The magic is also within you, by the way. All right, and you have um, spirit angels, guides, um, uh, sprites, elementals, as they're called, and they're all around you. They're um, they're always help. They're always there to help you. Okay, so um, center. Excuse me. Center. Center yourself. Um, tap into your inner inner intuition, your higher self. Right. The messages that you need are all within you. Okay, you just have to believe it, and you just need to um, accept that they're there and move forward, okay? Very nice energies backing you guys up. All right, so what else does Virgo need to know? We're going to pull some tarot. Messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we need to know about manifesting love? We have the Knight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, lots of cups, and the Page of Cups. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, this doesn't happen too, too often. All right. So we have cups in every single position. All right. So uh, let's have a look deeper into these here for you okay the knight of cups is in your position of what you want in a romantic relationship in a nutshell you want romance 
Um, the, the knight is a more masculine energy. It can be male or female though. All right. Um, but I think you, I think you want almost like your knight in shining armor. You want your prince charming. You want your romance. You want, you know, you want your emotional fulfillment. Um, you want that calm and peace and, um, you know, uh, definitely a sense of romance here. Right? You want someone to um, move you into the future and to walk forward with you in your path. All right, I'm going to clarify that and see if we can get some additional messages. Clarify this Knight of Cups for me, please. The Sun. The Nine of Swords and the Page of Coins. Yep. So you want someone that will fill you with love, joy, happiness. The sun is a major arcana, right? So the sun overshadows any previous uh, anxiety or worries or stagnant energy, right? The sun um, ensures success, um, success of a new beginning, success of um, the page of coins is um, uh, it's about um the start of something, the start of a home, the start of a career, the start of something financial. In this case, because it's your love reading, I'm going to say it's the start of something at home, the start of a relationship, right? And you might need to learn a thing or two, but it's it's also coins, so it's more a little bit more grounded energy that brings the uh, brings the watery uh, the watery cup energy back to earth just a little bit, okay? But the sun is ultimate joy. It's the the happiest card in the deck. All right. And this is an energy that um, it's like your you want you want your romance, you want your love, you want your future, you want someone to take you into that future, and you want your ultimate happiness, and that's what you're striving for, right? You're not going to accept anything less, all right? And with the sun at your back here, right? This is this is indicating that you have this success, right? And what you want is what you are going to manifest. Okay, and it's a very happy energy, very successful completion. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups coming up next, and this is in a position of what you can offer your partner at this point in your life. And it looks to me like you can offer them something new, um, a way forward, a way into the future. The Eight of Cups can be about um, leaving something behind, um, but it's more positively walking towards something better. And you can offer someone that. You can offer someone a higher level of commitment, a higher level of emotional stability, a new path forward, and a future that is filled with new opportunities and new love. All right, I'm going to clarify this Eight of Cups, please. Clarify this Eight of Cups. What else do we need to know? Three of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Right, so you're you have the ability to bring them out of this energy, both you and them. All right, this energy of sadness, despair, grief, not being able to see your way forward with the Two of Swords, right? Um, this uh, heavy, difficult energy, and you have the ability to um, expand their universe and their own, right? You have that knowledge to be able to do so. Right, and you're like, come on, let's go for a ride, and we're gonna go and and uh, you know forge our path together, and you're gonna have the ultimate communication to do that. This is fast forward momentum, and you're you're just gonna be like, come on, bud, let's hop in the car, let's go, let's just go on this journey together, okay? Because the Eight of Wands is um, typically very swift action. Um, it's the energy of communication, fast forward momentum, right? So it's like. You know, when you meet your when you meet your potential partner, um, you know, I think you guys will just click and it's like you leave the past behind very, very quickly and be able to see your way forward and see your way to a new adventure and a new beginning. And it's very nice energy. So we have the seven of cups in your position of what you need to let go. And this is what you need to let go from your past. Um, you this could be the energy of uh, playing the field a little bit, right? Doing a lot of dating, 
Um, nothing wrong with that at any stage in your life, right? Um, but this is saying that perhaps previously you latched on to any person that came that came across your path, like this is the one, this is the one, this is the one, instead of taking the time to contemplate and really choose your direction and make your wise choices from the heart. I think some of you may have been so desperate because there's a lot of cups here, like a lot of cups, okay? Um, it's like there might have been a little bit of desperation in the past um, and just this hastiness to choose whatever whatever kind of person came across your path. So let's clarify that, the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups for me, please. King of Cups, Eight of Coins, and the Ace of Cups. More Cups. Cups, Cups, Cups. Okay. So, so I think for some of you also, you know, if you weren't, if you, if, you know, you weren't the one playing the field or um, dating everyone in sight, I think for some of you also that you maybe did have a relationship that you worked very, very hard at. Right, we have the eight of coins, which is working hard, mastering something, building a strong foundation and a future. And I think perhaps you did have a relationship with someone, it may be someone older, but just certainly someone more mature. And the king of cups is typically a very romantic kind of person, um, someone with a deep soul and um, someone that can be very quite nurturing. You know, the kind of person that, you know, you 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 wouldn't mind go grabbing a beer with and having a nice chat, right? And you feel that they're loving and um, and have a good heart. And I think that maybe you did have that connection and you did have that heart, but something didn't work out, something didn't happen, right? You worked hard at it. You might have gone to like marriage counseling or something, or, you know, if you weren't married to this person, then... You know, you tried to repair your relationship and work on it and it just didn't work out because maybe, maybe you, this person just wasn't right, the right one for you, but you thought that they were, okay? You thought that they were, I don't see lies or deception or anything like that here, but you might've had an unhealthy addiction to this person as well, or at least the idea of this type of relationship, right? You may have had this. Um, because the Seven of Cups can also be, you know, uh, a, a card of um, um, excess, right? Being in excess. So it's, you you might have had either, you might have either been really attached to this idea um, or there might have been just so much mushy, gushy, icky, not icky, but mushy, gushiness that maybe it just in the end wasn't sustainable and wasn't... Um, wasn't for the long term okay so however however that's resonating for you here you did work hard at it and you did everything you could I feel um, but it just didn't work out it just didn't work out for something and um, so that's what you need to that's kind of it's what you need to let go right it's what you need to let go I think you need to you know you you want that knight in shining armor and you want that um, love connection but I think you have a little bit of a dose of reality now going forward. And you're again just looking for that partner. But I think whatever wasn't working for you in the past or that past relationship is affecting you now. So you do need to find that way to heal and that way to move forward. And you do believe, I mean, your optimism, your optimism is incredible, right? Because again, you have the sun and that's optimism too. And then you believe in magic. So whatever you've been through and whatever heartbreak that you've encountered in the past, um, you're still optimistic and you still have this belief that your your right person, your one soul person is uh, is around the corner for you, okay? So don't let go of that optimism, it's good. But you might just need to look at it from a different perspective, a healthier perspective, okay? Listen to your inner intuition, listen to your guidance, all right? So, uh, we have the Three of Cups, and this is in the position of uh, what your life could potentially look like once you find your real love. And this is celebration, this is joy, this is friends and family, this is um, emotional fulfillment, this is celebration. All right, you could possibly, because we actually have five figures in this card, so this could be um, a blending of families. Okay, this can represent you and your person, and then there might be children involved. 
So this is either starting a family, growing a family, um, or uh, combining two families together. Maybe the person that you meet will already have children. All right. But either way, however that resonates for you in that scenario, there will be a lot of joy, a lot of abundance, a lot of emotional fulfillment. All right. I'm going to clarify that three of cups. Clarify that three of cups, please. The Hierophant, marriage, the Wheel of Fortune, good fortune, and putting an end to all those heavy burdens. All right. So this is nice. This is nice. So I think... I think here, I think you're celebrating a marriage with the Hierophant. This is a higher level of commitment, and this quite often does represent marriage, especially the way the cards are coming out here, okay? So this is very nice, powerful energy, very, very loving energy, all right? And I think you're going to have your happy day because that's what you're striving for. That's what you're reaching for. That's what you believe in, and that's what you're manifesting, Okay, so I see you getting married and I see that your luck has changed. We have the Wheel of Fortune, right? Putting an end to the Ten of Wands. These are two tens right here. All right, so your fortune is changing for the better, for success, for victory, changing for the future, changing going forward. Lady Luck is shining upon you and putting an end to your past burdens. The Ten of Wands, that's an end of a cycle and that's an end to being carrying the load on your own, doing everything for yourself, um, being overburdened, overworked. This is you being able to move into the future with a nice new beginning, with Lady Luck at your back, with Destiny at your back. This is your this is your destiny right here. Right? And this is the this is the how your life is gonna look. So it's a really beautiful energy, right? And the three of cups, this can also be collaborative collaborative energy. Right? Working together, building something, building a home, building a family, building something a lot more secure than what you've been used to in the past. Okay, It's really beautiful, powerful energy right here. Okay, Very beautiful. So with the Hierophant here also... Um, and of course, it's marriage. Um, but you could be dealing with someone, another earth sign. You could be dealing with a Taurus with that energy right there. All right. And I think they're, it's going to change your life and change your life for the better. Right. It's like everything that you believed in. Right. So stay true to your beliefs and maybe just find a different way of doing things. Right. Leaving the past behind. So we have the page of cups and this is um, what what practical thing can you do? Uh, to manifest your partner into your life right now. And it's the Page of Cups. So I feel that this is healing your heartbreak from the past because the page is facing the past position and also looking into, looking into this cup. So I feel a couple of things here. Number one, you need to look at the past and try and heal what's blocking you. Okay, we already know that. Right, But I feel for others of you, I think you need to mature, mature your perspective on what real love looks like, right? Because the Page of Cups is very, very flighty, very, um, you know, he's in love with being in love, but it's all very innocent and it's all very pure and it's all very, um, you know, uh, just it's like everything is love. He's in love with being in love. It's like, you know, um, but that kind of like, high school version of love, if you want to call it that. And, um, you know, not, not with anything that's, you know, um, ill intent or anything like that, but, um, but a little bit flighty, right? A little bit flighty and a little bit immature in that kind of way of thinking. So in this position, what you need to do, I think is just evolve yourself, heal your past, but evolve yourself into a new, more mature way of thinking about relationships. And that's exactly the direction that you're going in, right? So I think you just need to um, gain this perspective, look at a, look at something a little bit differently. And I think that might be you and your, your outlook or your expectations. And um, just give yourself a little bit of a dose of, of reality and um, do a little bit of maturing yourself, okay? And not necessarily maturing age-wise, right? But maturing on your notion 
of love and what your love love looks like okay and I feel like you can do that because there's a lot of really good positive energies healthy energies that are that are playing out here okay um, so I'm gonna close out your reading with a heart and soul card what messages does Virgo need to know please and there's your card and it says what you are doing today was greatly influenced by your past thoughts and attitudes and your present thoughts and attitudes are the building blocks of your tomorrow therefore be mindful and aware of your thoughts positive thoughts now will help create a brighter future because every thought is a seed if you plant weeds you can't expect to harvest beautiful flowers all right and the page of cups is the start of something new the start of a new relationship planting the seeds of something new okay so be mindful also be mindful also of what you are trying to manifest right and again you don't want to manifest an immature kind of love right you want to plant the seeds of it into the universe and into your consciousness right but just be aware right that you you want something more long lasting and mature so be careful of what you're thoughts are and what you're actively trying to bring into your life because you're going to get exactly what you what you are thinking about here right so gain that level of maturity and that um, long-term outlook that it looks like that you want in order to bring in your ultimate happiness right because you don't want to bring in um, someone flighty and someone that's non-committal right and because you want this commitment okay so just watch your thoughts watch your thoughts with that but um, I see great things for you here and I really hope there was messages in here that help you along your way. And if there was, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And uh, I thank you so much for watching and best of luck to you all and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.